So, hello, nail lovers. I'm back with my same background. It is Miss Press Ons here, your official false nail girl. And today I'm here to share with you my press on nail collection. Let's get started. So before we get into it, I just wanted to show you guys the box that the last set of nails came in. These are the nails that were in my last video. These were the nails that I just freshly took off. Um, they were the ones I kind of described as a candy cane swirl. And um, I think I'd say a peppermint swirl. That was what I felt like they were. But my friend said they reminded her of candy canes. So... This was the box. I ordered these on Sheen for $2.50. If you're interested in purchasing them, you can go to my last video. The link will be in the description. Um, and you also get to kind of see them in person. These are just the last extra nails. I have removed them and, um, you know, got all the glue off. It was a pretty simple removal. I, simple. I mean, it took a little bit, but <clears throat> I eventually got them off. I had one come off when I was in the process of cleaning chairs at my daycare and I kind of bumped it against it and this pinky nail just popped right off easy as pie. And I'm the type of person who when one pops off like I'm just ready for the rest of them to come off even if they're not ready and they were not they were not ready to come off. But I got some water a little bit of dish detergent I heard that works with cuticle oil but I'm definitely not about to waste cuticle oil. Um, not my precious cuticle oil. I'm not about to waste that on removing nails when I know I can get them off um, in a plethora of other different ways. They're just press on. It's just glue. My nails have never been damaged from removing them. If anything, all my damage came from having acrylics nonstop every two to three weeks up to a month changing them out every time. Now acrylics are what damage your nails, but my press ons have not been a problem for me. But um, these are what my nails are looking like. I just added a extra strength. This, got this at the dollar store. If you can't see it, it's a super strength LA Colors top coat or nail builder. And before I put on a new set, I always put this on to kind of strengthen my nails for about one to three days. Sometimes a little longer depending on, you know, my schedule and if I have the time to get a fresh set in. But this is... These are the rest of my nails. I might have to cut that out. <laughs> These are the rest of my nails, guys. I have an entire little bag full of nails. I have nails on top of nails on top of nails. So I'm going to quickly lay these out and I will show you guys what we're working with. And I'm also going to get some lotion because I'm looking a little ashy. <laughs> so these are all of my nails. Now that I have them um, kind of laid out, it doesn't look like much, but I have already ran through a few pairs, to be honest. And I don't, I didn't want to include those. Um, obviously, this was one of them. And the rest of them, I just kept in, you know, my little storage area where I have the other used ones. I almost did not want to include these because they're not like official nails like these, but they're still sets and i will be using them eventually so these are there are 15 pairs right here and this is an extra 10 pairs um this came from the dollar store and this is a la colors lavish nail set they're beautiful they were actually one of the first ones i got because i'm a long nail girl um, before I realized that long nails and daycares do not really coincide, but it says it comes with a nail glue, which I more than likely will not use because I have my own glue. Speaking of glue, this was also in the bag, another LA Colors, um, product. It's the Rapid Dry Super Nail Glue, so I'm gonna try it out because I've never used it before. I use Cala Super Nail Glue for my nails. They hold them on for a decent amount of time, and I like their product. I like their glue. I'm going to continue to purchase their glue, so you should definitely try it out. I'm still going to be using the sticky tabs and the glue next time. Like I said, this pair came with sticky tabs. I've never used them before, so I'm going to definitely see what that's like and see how long they hold up on my next set, which you guys will be seeing a review of. But these are... 
all of the nails I have. So I guess we'll just start with this because it's the one that I almost didn't want to include. It's a 240 piece set. You probably can't see it because I have my light on so you guys can see everything clearly. Um, it's a 240 piece set. I ordered it off of Amazon, I think. And I don't quite remember the cost of it, but I know it was definitely under $10. I would not spend over $10 on anything. And especially with these, I don't plan on spending even, to be honest, I'm not trying to even spend $5 on personal nails unless I just really, really want them. This was probably just a few dollars at the dollar store, just a few dollars. And I'm pretty sure they run a lot more expensive depending on what place you get them from. Like I said, it's the LA Colors Lavish Nail with 24 nail tips, the nail glue, and the nail file. And then the rest of these babies came from Sheen, which is my new go-to spot. The other pairs I had came from the dollar store before I started looking into Sheen and realized that they had some really great affordable nails. This is the first pair. Um, nails, do it yourself. That's what it says with, you know, some foreign writing on there. It says it's another 24-piece, natural, delicate, and comfort comfortable um they look very transparent to be quite honest so i don't know what they're going to look like on my fingers but that is the beauty of it when i try it out you guys will definitely see it and you will get a fuel review on it they're cute i just had no idea that they would be this transparent but they seem like they're a pretty decent length not too long not too short compared to um a couple other pairs that you'll see in my collection so really cute this is another one beautiful nail it's a short stiletto it looks like it's gonna need some fouling but it also looks like it has a foul slash buffer in the back and it's one of my favorite kinds the pink and blue sided one so that's the next one this one um i don't know why a couple of them came in bags and i'm not too sure why because obviously you can see that this is the same people who pushed out uh, all of these yet it came in a bag and i don't know why these look a whole lot wider like if you would compare it to these those are thinner as far as width but these look a whole lot wider and they are very 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 lengthy probably a little too long for my comfort i'll more than likely have to file them down but they're just this pretty brownish tone color they would also be really cute for thanksgiving but i don't know we'll see i was looking into another pair for thanksgiving but I might give these a try. I would just definitely have to file them down like a lot <laughs> just for my own comfort. And well, we'll go, we'll go across this. These are gorgeous. I've seen a video on these and they're like, they have a little rose design at the bottom. They're so beautiful. I love them and I can't wait to try them on. Once again, I might have to file them down a little bit because they're a tad bit long. Once I realized I had so many long pairs of nails, I went right back to Shane and I put a ton of short pairs. So that's the haul that'll be coming in with about 15 to 20 other nail sets, but shorter. So this is really beautiful. I'm just gonna throw them back in the bag when I finish. Just to kind of make some room um this says false nail professional again very long it looks like we have you probably can't tell i can tell but looks like we have some little lining some little gray i don't know okay it's not on the nail it just looks like it's how the packaging comes one minute nail tip i'm not too sure what that means it has easy application it shows you how to put them on and how to remove them and they're just this beautiful white and purple smoky like pair and i really love it and the first nail has a little diamond on the bottom if you can see it blinging so that's good and cute that's going to be a really nice pair to try on whenever i get around to it have another one of my you know coming coming beautiful nail sets literally beautiful nail and once again it's long it has a little pink pink and blue foul in the back and it's this beautiful navy blue i want to say but like this dark rich blue green tone depending on you know how you're looking at it what lighting you're looking at it in and we have this 
which is very unique and every time i see them i just think wow this is so beautiful it definitely looks like somebody probably painted the lightning streaks on just from how it is but they're beautiful and they have this they come in this cute little packaging with the bow up top no nina we hope to see you there um here's what the back is looking like these are very pretty i will probably file them down just a little bit per usual most of them will probably be filed down but they're really cute here we have a purple and nudish tone nail and these are really cute because they have diamonds going across it i went back and i started putting in reviews for my sheen nails because you get points for reviewing them and i had realized that they had diamonds in it and i almost forgot that i had these completely but they are so so beautiful i love them so much we have this which you see probably uh, everywhere like you find these on amazon ebay sheen everywhere that sells nails you're gonna probably see these except they're cheap none of these costed more than three dollars i don't even think i reached three dollars but none of these cost more than three dollars so guys like i said go to shane when i have my individual nail reviews i will post links of it but if you're interested in any particular set that i have you just let me know in the comments and i will definitely go get it i'll go fetch the link for you it won't be any trouble to find i just kind of didn't feel like going getting them one by one so this is that beautiful little dragon design with the the special little french tip these are our basic little beautiful blue purple pair from Nail Nina again with the cute little bow. They're short. They're not stiletto, not almond, even though they're kind of favorite. It's like a like a tapered coffin design, I want to say, kind of box off at the end. We have this pair, another pair that you see everywhere. I thought they would be transparent, but they actually have a very nice nudish background going on. So these should be really cute to try out. We've got this pair, another pair that I was really considering for Thanksgiving. So, no Nina once more. The back, you've already seen what they look like in a few other pairs. They are stunning. They've got like this little umbra effect going on. It's a really natural nail and I think they're going to look really good with my skin tone. Another popular pair that you see or at least I've seen on YouTube, people reviewing this particular nail. I wanted to file this one down, but I did not want to mess up the design that they have going on. But whenever I get around to it, I will definitely share with you guys what it's looking like at that point. I might still file it down, to be honest. And the last one is this one right here. False No Professional. Another long pair, but it really does not compare to uh, this one. Every time I look at this one, I'm like... Oh my goodness, you probably can't tell the length from it, but these are really long, guys. When I get around to putting them on before I even do any fouling, I would definitely, you know, hold it against my nail so you can get a, a really good view of how long they actually are. But this is the last pair. I have been really wanting to see some black. I have this pair with some black speckled in. I really want to just try black on my nails. Is it this one? No. But yes, I have this one, which is a nice shiny black. And this is a matte black. So I definitely want to see what matte look like on me. But I keep a clear coat with me at all times because I love the way like it finishes and tops it all off. When I put a clear coat on top of my nails, that's what I did for these. And they came out a whole lot better. Um, But that is it. Those are all of my nails and I think I did go over these I'm not too sure if I did but these are the other 10 pairs they're just basic they're also like paper thin I don't know if you can tell but they have a really good amount of pretty colors and a part of me is really thinking that when I get around to these they're gonna stick a whole lot longer just because they're thin I don't know if that's probably just in my mind or what but they've got some cute variety going on and i will definitely be trying these out at some point don't know when but at some point and i feel like they're going to be the easiest to cut and file down just because they're so thin um they might be a little bit flimsy in terms of bending but i don't i don't mind 
we'll see how they go there'll be a review for those coming as well um sorry for the ugly background i have a lot going on don't pay attention to that but these are all my nails everyone that i have and even more coming soon so with all of this together there are 25 pairs and we'll be looking um looking into even more because i can't stop shopping from sheen as i said and i have 15 16 17 18 between 18 and 20 additional pairs coming like i said i had one order that had 15 and then another order for my daughter that's on the way i got her some clothes and some other cute things she's moving right now <laughs> i think she hears me talking but got her some things and then i add an extra three four pairs maybe five but i doubt it was that many and with that one but that is it you guys i will see you in the next video which will be another review once i let my nails kind of you know get used to this polish again be you know get all fancied up again and then i will be back once i choose between this set or i don't even know where it's at right now or this set these are the ones i'm looking into and i will I'll make my final decision at some point. I might include the other ones, but I think I'm going to stick with these two. Just so I won't bother the other one for a haul. And I can get another review up for you guys. Have the haul set up. I have a lot of ideas that I want to get out for this. And I'm going to be pushing out videos pretty frequently, I'm assuming, because I'm always changing my nails. But this video has been long enough. We're already past 13 minutes. So I'm going to concluded here thank you guys for watching it is miss press ons and if you're interested in this type of content and you like false nails as much as i do then be sure to subscribe because i can't wait to have you joining and i love you i will see you in the next one bye bye